Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Cooking. So today is another day that I am teaming up with Sutton's Days, Paul's Rule of Thumb, and the resident foodie and hoarder in our adventure of 30 Days to Thanksgiving. You can find links to their channels below in the description box. Today, I am making turkey tarts. I know a lot of you are asking, what are turkey tarts? Well, just stay there and I'll be right back to show you what they are. Okay guys, so the ingredients we're going to be using today will be salt, pepper, poultry seasoning, bacon grease, chicken bouillon, chopped up bacon, cream cheese, ground turkey, and wonton wrappers. However, the wonton wrappers, the bacon bits, the cream cheese, the bouillon, we'll be saving for later. Right now, we're going to heat up our skillet and place our bacon grease inside because who doesn't like the taste of bacon grease? We're gonna make sure we melt this so it covers the entire bottom of the skillet. Ground turkey doesn't have that much fat in it and we don't want it sticking. All right, now that we've got that going, I'm gonna go ahead and put my turkey in, break this up. That's fine for the moment. Now I'm gonna take my salt and just kind of sprinkle it over along with my pepper and about half of the poultry seasoning. Then I'm going to just kind of stir it around, get it mixed in, and we're just going to brown this. This is going to take a few minutes, so I will bring you back when we get to that stage. Okay, our sausage is finished browning, and I placed it in a bowl that's lined with a paper towel to help absorb some of the excess grease. Next, I want to take my cream cheese and put it in my standing mixer along with the bouillon, the poultry seasoning, and the bacon bits. And I want to mix this pretty well because I want to get these flavors mixed into the cream cheese. Okay, that should do. Let me grab a spatula. I want to scrape down the sides a little bit. I'm going to give it another little quick mix. Okay, then I'm going to add in my sausage. Maybe not all of it. Maybe a little more. Let me go ahead and scrape it down again. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and scrape this off. And the sausage was still a little bit warm, which will help melt the cheese, which will help everything to incorporate. Here I have a mini muffin pan, and I am going to line each one of the wells with a wonton wrapper, gently pushing it down not to rip it. I'm going to go ahead and finish lining these, then I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, so I've got most of these done. I did decide while doing these that it would probably be easier to do if I used my tartlet former. And it did speed up the process. You just simply lay on your wonton and just push it down, kind of crease the folds a little bit, and voila, it's done. Next, I'm going to take a medium small cookie scoop and just put filling in each one of these. As you can see it goes pretty quickly. You could probably do this, make these a day in advance. Just stick them in the fridge or if you want to do them sooner than that you could stick them in the freezer and freeze them and then when you're ready to serve them just bring them out and throw them in the oven for an extra 10 minutes. Okay, so now you can see they're all ready to go. I have enough filling to do maybe a half a dozen more, but I'm sure since the turkey is already cooked, 
You could use it as a sandwich spread if you wanted to. Now I'm going to put this in the, a 350 degree preheated oven for about 10 to 15 minutes just until the wonton wrappers are crisp. And I'll bring you back when they come out. Okay guys, these were in the oven for about 15 minutes. 12 probably would have been enough because as you can see, some of the tips are a little bit darker than I would like them, but it's okay. Those are the ones I'll eat. So I've taken them out of the oven. They've been cooling for about five minutes so they don't remove the skin from the roof of my mouth. We're gonna give them a little taste. They're really good, they're nice and creamy. It's almost like serving ground turkey and gravy, almost. It's really good, it's really, really good. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. They're just so good, I had to eat a few more before finishing telling you how good they are. I really need to go slap my neighbor. So if you're looking for an appetizer that's a little bit different than what people normally serve, this is what you need to make. Absolutely, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you check out the other channels that are participating in this 30 Days of Thanksgiving. You can find the links to their channels in the description box below. And I'll see you next time.